Hey guys, Scott here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna go over a couple knots that I use when I hang my tarp above my hammock. A couple people have asked for this, so I'm just gonna do a quick run through. This will be a super, super short video. Pretty much gonna show you three different ways that I connect my tarp, maybe four. We'll see how it goes. This is just an example piece of paracord that I'm using today. I keep a fairly long piece of cordage on my tarp and I use a continuous ridge line. And on each end, I probably have uh, 10 to 12 feet of cordage in case I need to go around a really large tree when I'm out in the Sierras. And what I found is to anchor the first side of my tarp, there's a couple different ways that I tie the knot. It really kind of depends on, on what mood I'm in, really. The first is just a quick bowlin around the tree. And basically, I just take it and run the working end around the tree. And this is really easy. Just grab the cord and make a, make a loop where it's on top. And grab the end that is my continuous ridge line that's going over to the tarp and just bring it right up through so it creates a loop. And I take the working end, slide it through. It's a whole lot easier when I'm not trying to demonstrate. Just stick it through and pull. And I end up with a bowlin and I'm tied to the tree. You could do that with a bite instead of the entire end of the loop. So if I had a really, really long cord here, I might end up with a bite. I can still go ahead and cross it over, bring it up, and stick the bite through it. And I still have a bowlin. And that way I don't have to worry about all of this extra cord. You know, in case my tarp is right here and I really don't want to have to slide the tarp back and forth very far. All right, so we'll go ahead and tie this knot one more time just so you can get a good feel for it. Here's my working end. I'm just gonna twist the line over top of itself and shove this end up through so that I end up with a loop sticking up through it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I've got the loop. I'm just gonna stick this end through and pull and I end up with a bowlin. Super quick and dirty, really nice easy way to anchor this off. All right. Now the, the downside to this is that I have to untie it. So the other way that I usually do it is I put a loop in the end of this rope and a lot of times what I'll do is just throw a bite and tie a quick figure eight. You could tie any loop knot you like, but it doesn't matter. Tie a loop, grab a stick, and just stick a loop up through, your, through the end, and stick your stick in it. And I now have my uh, ridge lines tied off, and in the morning, I basically just pull that out, and I'm done. I pack up and go. I'm gonna show you the other end. So once I get one end anchored, I have to pull this tight. So I tie just a real quick trucker's hitch. I just grab my cord, twist it over top, and I take the piece that's going around the tree and stick it through the loop, pull it through like this, and then double it back on itself like that. This is the side that's going to where my tarp is. And I take this end and run it through the loop. And as soon as I put some back tension in on it, this knot bites down and I'm pulling back and all I, I can then tighten this up. And that pulls or loosens up my tarp. When I get it to here, all I do is pinch, let's see if I can get this right. Basically all I do is I just pinch right here. And as soon as you pinch that, you can pull as hard as you want, the knot's bound. And then I just go ahead and go around it and tie just a quick half hitch with a slip. And if I, and it's good, but if I really want to, then I just can come around and tie it, a quick loop over that 
piece that's sticking out and it's, it's secure. This is not gonna come undone. And in the morning when I'm ready, just pull that off, it comes out and the knot just pops out. Super quick and easy. And with that trucker's hitch, you get a lot of tension on it. So that's how I go ahead and anchor off my ridge line for my tarp. I use a continuous ridge line because I like tying knots and I don't have any issues with it. I don't take any hardware, it's not a big deal. And with the prusiks that I have for my tarp, once I have it up, I just slide it around. Hope you got something out of that. Have an awesome day.